Well, I was hoping that my returning to tactical book reviews was going to be a little bit more positive. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. And today's book is the Guerrilla Sniper Tactics Handbook by Roy A. Woodall Jr. And I'm going to be honest and upfront with you here, I don't have a lot of nice things to say. So I got this book uh, because it's popped onto my Amazon, you know, browsings a couple different times and it has a cool cover. I'm definitely going to give it that. And so, uh, you know, I was curious, I was curious about the topic, right, of being a guerrilla sniper and, and the tactics involved and stuff like that, which is why I got this book. Makes sense so far, I hope. Uh, however, this book has very, very little to do, if anything, with guerrilla sniper tactics. And when it does talk about it, it is so far out in left field and contrary to traditional uh, collected, established thought on the topic that I'm not even sure how this book got written or what the author actually knows about the topic. And I, and I say that, and I, I read the back blurb of the book, and uh, there's a little, like, about me uh, or about, you know, about the author in here, and he's uh, been in the military for a long time, he was a police officer for a long time, and did some uh, different deployments and different trainings for different government agencies, and wrote some different articles, and he's got more books. I, I, I'm not convinced he knows what he's talking about. So, first things first, and this one got me right in the first opening chapters, didn't really like this one, but he talked about how his favorite philosopher is Nicola Machiavelli. Now, if you are familiar with Mr. Machiavelli, you know that to call someone Machiavellian is usually a slander, right? What you're saying is, you, sir, have no standing morality. Uh, rather, you just think that the ends justify the means and you will do whatever you want to achieve your ends because that's what's most important to you, not actual morality. So you call those people Machiavellian, right? And that's an insult, or at least it should be. Uh, this author, however, just claims that, hey, I love Machiavelli. That's why there's a bunch of quotes from him in this book. And I'm just like, w wait, wait, hold, hold, I'm sorry, what? And then he continues to go on to say that, you know, uh, the Muslims have an advantage over the Christians based on their morality and that Muslims can lie, cheat, and steal against unbelievers and Christians can't. And that's a disadvantage. And he's not interested in anyone who's going to tell him about God or the government. He makes his own decisions on who he should kill and who he should forgive. And that's his choice and his choice alone. And I got done reading those first, first like four or five pages and I thought, okay, all right, so uh, you're a psychopath. Is that, is, that, is that what you're telling me? Because that's what it sounds like. I'm sorry to say it didn't get better from there. In fact, uh, it, it got more uh, convoluted as the book went on. Um, initially, he talks about being a guerrilla sniper and it's best to work alone and not in a team, which I radically disagree with, but okay, whatever. Um, and then he goes on and he has, there's, first of all, there's no table of contents in this book. Uh, it's just chapter to chapter. They're all pretty short. It's double space book and it's only like 100 and 216 pages. I read it in like two sittings, pro probably under like 10 or seven hours. Um, I did make it all the way through, which believe me, was a struggle. Uh, so after talking about how you should do this by yourself, then he goes into other chapters that just have nothing to do with the topic at hand. Here's a chapter about how to do team ambushes. And from what I can tell, it's just straight up like team ambushes from the military. You know, I'm not saying he copy pasted it like from a manual, but but the, the methodology is the same. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you might as well have. There's nothing different about it. And I'm like, wait a second. I thought this was a book on like guerrilla sniper tactics. I thought if you were going to talk about ambushes, you could at least talk about it in the context of being a guerrilla sniper who's acting by yourself. But that doesn't happen. It's, it's just straight up, this is how to do one with a team. And I'm thinking, well, what, what does that have to do with, with being a guerrilla sniper and getting the cool, the cool outfit? Like what? Then he has a whole chapter on like handgun selection. The author prefers the 1911. <laughs> of course he does. Uh, and uh, you know how that's a really important choice. And I'm thinking, guerrilla sniper. Like if you want to have a chapter on handgun selection, I guess fine. But there's no chapter on rifle selection. So why is there a chapter on handgun selection? I don't know. Um, and again, it just keeps getting worse. It has worse. It, it has multiple chapters 
that are about multiple different topics that don't really pertain to, or at least he doesn't clearly draw the line to, uh, being a guerrilla sniper. I really don't know if I can tell you what this book is about. It's, it's very, the, the amount of pages that are actually developed, devoted to being a guerrilla sniper are uh, like, I don't know, 5% of the book. And the rest of the book you can find in any other military small unit tactics manual probably. Um, there, there's really not a lot of uh, original content here. And not, not that I mean he didn't write the words. I'm assuming he did. Um, I'm not accusing him of plagiarism or anything. I'm just saying that like the, the stuff in here you could find anywhere else. You can find out how to do an ambush anywhere else. At least when in my book, when I wrote about an ambush, I tried to contextualize it to the people that were doing it. And I guess that's what I would expect here. I'd expect you to say, hey, you're a guerrilla sniper. This is how we traditionally do an ambush with a team. But for you, that means, and then explain, right? That's, that's the knowledge that I was assuming would be in a guerrilla sniper tactics handbook. I would assume there'd be tactics about being a guerrilla sniper. But again, next to none. Um, so very disappointed with this book. Uh, one star, would not recommend. Uh, I'm gonna try to read some other different gorilla books, so hopefully we can, we can find you something a little bit better here. But in the meantime, if you're still interested in this book, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link below, but uh, I would not recommend you to read the Gorilla Sniper Tactics Handbook by Mr. Roy A. Woodall Jr. Do brave deeds and endure.